Okay, here we are with another project, and it's time for us to deal with that. That's a broken torsion spring. Should look like that on your garage door. Its job is to lighten the load of the door. The door weighs a couple hundred pounds, a little more. And that torsion spring, well, I got a, a notification from my wife saying, hey, the garage door won't open. And so uh, I came over when I got home and I looked over at the lights down there and, and uh, you know, nothing was blocking those. And I was like, well, why wouldn't it open? It was, seemed like very odd. And so I checked both sides and then I started looking around. And when I looked up, it didn't take a genius to see that that spring is not right. And when that spring's not working, the door weighs a ton. And so uh, I spent a couple hours learning everything I could learn about garage door springs, torsion springs, and I uh, found this uh, amazing website that uh, gives, us, uh, gives us all the information we need. You gotta find out what size spring you have. Um, and so you measure the, di the uh, diameter of that bar your, that the spring sits on plus the gap from the bar to the inside of that, the, or the outside of that spring right there. And it comes, uh, this is not the best tape measure, but it comes to an inch from there to there, and an inch from there to there, so I know that I have a two inch spring. Uh, you measure the, the spring that's broken, not the one that's under, under tension. Same thing when you're measuring measuring the spring I measured both pieces of the broken spring and that one is nine inches and this one here is 25 inches so I got a 34 inch spring there's one other measurement you need to take and that is you measure 10 rotations count on these springs here you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You count 10 of those and measure them. And then count 20 of those and measure that. And those will give you, uh, that those inches divided by 10 or divided by 20 will give you a measurement. Uh, my measurement came out to be 0.2437. After doing a little digging, I found this website. Uh, give. Give them a shout out. They did a great job compiling this or whoever did it. But this, this website has all the dimensions of torsion springs. The life cycles are on the top of the page there. And on the side here you have the number of pounds of spring pulls. And then all of these are the different, um, different spring sizes and, and, uh, the, how long it should last against uh, how much it should pull and uh, I had a 243 you can see the green ones there are 243 uh, 0.2437 was the thickness of my spring and that's the uh, counting the 10 rings and the 20 rings and dividing by how long those 10 rings and 20 rings measure and I had a 243 by 34 okay so step one was to Disconnect the garage door. A little pressure on the, the bar here. So that's one. So then I'll lift up on this, pull that one out. And that's two. And the more you unscrew it, the less pressure you feel on the bars.
that's it. Okay, how we know that the, the springs are completely loose is that you can see the, the cable in there and it's, there's no tension on that cable anymore. And this is a two spring deal, so we'll check both sides. Yep, and that one is completely loose as well. Okay, step three, we're gonna take these two screws off each center post so that they'll loosen from there. And then we're gonna release that screw right there from the drum. It'll make the drum slide off. And then we'll pull that bar out and we'll be good to go. So another thing to note here is that when this goes back on, this is all flush. And that sets the distance appropriately from here against the back wall. So it's the same all the way down that line. So note to self, make it look just like that. Loosen this. The pull here. Let's see what we got. There you go. There we go. To get that out, I'm gonna to have to remove this plate so everything will slide off. But other than that, everything will come off and we'll do the reverse of what we've just done to install it. Okay, here's our first spring. Uh, the left side spring is uh, painted red. Red never goes on the right. As you're looking at the garage door from the inside, red goes to the left. And the other, the other spring should be painted black. Yeah, there's the black on that one. So the black goes to the, to the right. Well, I guess I need my bushing. Where's my bushing? Bearing plate holds it onto the wall. That's gonna go next. And then we put the black spring on next. Okay, got the springs far up the center mount back on the wall and the rod or the shaft on which the springs rest is all in there. This drum I got put back in the hole, the shaft right back in the hole, lined up the drum with the marks that I had before, got it to where the string here is is fairly taut, just the, you know, not super loose at least. And then I put uh, vice grips on the bar to keep the bar from turning anymore so it keeps tension on those on those springs or on the on the cables that wrap around the drums so once that side is taut then i come back over to this side do the same thing we're hand holding this this uh drum until the cable is not there it's loose and there it's tight and now i'm just going to tighten these two screws keeping tension on that and uh, then we can mount the center portions of the springs together. Okay, the last step is to wind the springs. Uh... Seven foot door, it's one foot, four turns for every one foot of height, or four quarter turns. So we're gonna go seven times four is 28, and we'll do one for good measure, 29, going over 28 to 30. So first we can just start by hand here. Let's see. So 
So that's one, that's two. Okay, we've got the springs all tightened in and adjusted. So now we'll give the door uh, open and see how it does. All right, so we'll try the garage door. You can use one hand, stops wherever it needs to stop. And it's in balance, held there by the springs. So, job well done. We'll connect the garage door opener. There we go. Make sure there's still tension here. There is. And we'll make sure there's tension on this side. And there is, so all done. Have a good one.